Hey Jed, uh, Chris Davis here. Just gonna walk you through um, how I would go about bending a nail. Uh, maybe I cut this a little on the short side. Um, just a little short. Uh, cold rolled steel, six inches. My micrometer is pretty crappy, uh, but roughly about. Uh, it's 25, I can't see through the camera, 24, uh, no, I can't be right, oh, wrong, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong number, I'm an idiot, I can't think straight, uh, 16, so, okay, 16 would be a quarter of an inch, I don't know if you can see that, so, um, I'm just going to walk you through everything I would do, uh, as far as rolling it, and, uh, and then the bend, and put it back here to measure the distance. So I uh, try to put it right about the center of the pad and get as tight a wrap as I can possibly get. And um, obviously these are the uh, the iron mine pads. The reason I train in those is because um, I've heard that there are differences between and I've read what well, you've had on your blog before, so I just want to train in what I'm going to certify in. Um, and if I get certified, might I change? Uh, depends. Uh, it's a few things. But, um, we'll see. as tight as I can get it. I have a hard time rolling these up because they tend to want to come at an angle. Um, not quite square, but it, it gets the job done for me. So then I, I put the, the nail between my legs to hold it um, in place while I, while I roll the other side. I'm not sure how anyone else does it. Pretty much everything I've learned about bending, I've learned through myself and with um, some help from, um, from uh, Jason Kaplan, who's been a uh, very, very big help in, uh, in pointing me in the right direction and helping me. Um, I haven't seen much instruction. Maybe it's in your DVD. I haven't gotten that yet on how to how to transition over. Or if I have someone with me, I ask them to hold the other end. But I do the same exact thing to the other end, halfway around the, the pad. And I'm a righty. I don't know if this is going to um, affect anything, but um, it's also the shoulder that I, that I subluxated toward the bicep on. Um, just got back from the RKC2 last night. Doing bent presses on Saturday um, actually helped what I think was a coracobrachialis in my shoulder. Um, it's not sticking out of my armpit anymore. Um, so. Probably make it a little bit easier to bend to, but uh, getting back to being right-handed, I put my left foot out. Um, I just feel stronger in that position. I don't know if that comes from um, doing karate when I was a little kid and just punching from that side, but that's the foot that I stick out. And I can talk a little bit about foot position. So. This side I can never quite get as tight. Take it out. That's my nail ready to bend.
measure it for you. Um, here's another thing I'm not sure. Oh, well, I guess no matter which way I measure it, it is within the two inch gap. Um, let's see if I. Definitely within two inches there. Um, Alright, thanks, Jed. Appreciate it. Uh, look forward to any feedback.